All right, so here we are at the garage strength garden. Let's see what we have in the strawberry patch. Let's see right here. We've got a nice fresh strawberry. So good strawberries, good food. I will see you later. Okay, so here we are back at the garage strength garden. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick with tomato plants. Here are our row of tomato plants. Um, we're going to demonstrate how to cut off suckers. The suckers are part of the plant that don't produce tomatoes. Uh, the one way to tell is that they do not grow a large amount of hair on them, like fuzz. So this has no fuzz on it. This part here has plenty of fuzz on it. This one does not have any fuzz on it so you can cut that off and what happens is more nutrients from the soil go to the part of the plant that produce the tomatoes so you get more a higher yield of tomatoes in a healthier plant and they taste better and it's easier to pick when it comes to be picking time uh, if you have any questions just email me dane at garagestrength.com okay so I'm going to demonstrate what happens when uh, you cut back the suckers off of this tomato plant. These are about five or six tomato plants and we'll see in about 15 minutes what this looks like after all the suckers are cut off. Okay and here's what happens after the suckers all get cut off. The plant opens up and enables more sunlight and more nutrients to go to the rest of the tomato plant that actually grows the tomatoes and it helps put forth more energy to fight off pests and bugs and any possible diseases. Uh, so feel free to send me an email to ask questions about cutting off tomato suckers. Okay, here we are at the garage strength garden. Here we have some uh, blueberries that are ripening up now that I've already eaten a fair amount. They go all the way down to the end. And I'll show you some other stuff shortly. Okay, here's our extremely large rhubarb patch. So we can combine the fresh strawberries that we picked with the fresh rhubarb. Make a nice rhubarb pie. Okay, so here we are back at the garden. And right in front of us we have Swiss chard, uh, which is loaded with tons of antioxidants and vitamin A. It's extremely tasty. with goes well with butter and garlic. And it's just a great, great meal, or a good addition to a good meal. Um, over here we have our cabbage. The cabbage is starting to head. Um, it actually is really healthy this year. Last year we had a few problems with some uh, some mites getting in there. And we have some carrots here. And that looks to be it. Right here is the, the tomatoes that you saw earlier. So things are progressing well. Um, I will give you some more updates later on. Okay, so here's our garlic uh, right next to the Swiss chard. Um, some of our garlic got knocked down by a massive storm. Um, we decided to pick some of it here. Here's one right in front of us. And it's still good. And it's great with the Swiss chard. Both are loaded with good antioxidants and just add a great flavor to any good meal containing grass-fed meats and any wild animals or anything that's highly nutritious in a whole dense food. Um, I'll bring, I'll have some more uh, updates in the future. See ya.